Hello students, welcome to online biology class. Today we are going to cover day 11 of chapter 3. Every day you will be attending the class and doing the homework for that day. Make sure that you have your textbook and notebook all the times while you are attending the class. For any queries, you will be having a synchronizer session where you can interact and clarify your doubts. I hope children you have done yesterday's home assignment. Right? So, uh, like yesterday we were being dealing with the topic uh, how plants uh, are going to obtain water and minerals or transportation of water and minerals in plant body. And in today's section, let us see how, uh, what is the role of flowing, like in water, transportation of water and minerals, we have seen the role of flow, uh, xylem, what is in, uh, being played. And in today's class, let us see what is the role played by phloem in transportation of food materials. So therefore, children, you have, I hope you have understood, today we are going to learn about transportation of manufactured food. The main aim of and objective of our today's topic is our transportation of manufactured food material. That means what role of phloem in transportation of manufactured food. I hope children, you have seen or you have uh, studied in your class 9 that so in case of xylem, we study it in the form of transportation but in case of phloem, we do not call it as transportation we call it as translocation since it is moving from one place to another place and it is being stored further so we call it as translocation instead of transportation and in case of xylem, we have seen that water is being transported from what it is used to the tip of the plant. But in case of phloem, it is not like that. The food material which is being produced in the top portions of the plant, it is randomly distributed. That means what the transportation of these food material, it is bidirectional. It may be from top to bottom or bottom to top. Both the ways it is being done. So therefore, the best word to use is translocation instead of transportation. Now, so uh, to understand uh, that phloem plays an important role in transportation of food material, so let us try to understand with an uh, AFI experiment or about activities which are being done by few scientists about the study of this AFI. Actually, aphids are a small green flies, right? A small in small insects or a tiny insects. They are green flies actually. They feed on slender uh, stems and leaves of the plant, right? And we were very sure that so in case when you take a transfer section of a stem, so xylem bundles are interior and phloem are exterior, right? So now you can look after. So complete this is nothing but the xylem which is interior and you can look after the phloem which is exterior and you can look after this is the bark. Now so these are the green insects which are called as aphids. Now so generally you know that so what actually happens the food material or the sugars they are being produced by the plants. Right, where they are being manufactured, they are manufactured in the leaves. Right, that is the reason in the first unit we have called the leaves as the kitchens of plant. Right, so the next one. So from these leaves, right, so uh, the, the leaves are they are going to contain veins. From these, so it is being the food material of the sugars, they are being transported to actively growing cells, nothing but the meristematic cells, right? And uh, so apart some other portion of the food material, it is being transported to the ground tissues and where they are being stored in, right? And this transportation or uh, translocation is being done by phloem. Actually, the veins it contains xylem and phloem, and phloem plays an important role in this transportation of food materials. And so, like this, uh, scientists we have started to study the experiment which is being done by aphids. Actually, I even told you that phloem is a tissue, it is being made up of four different types of cells like phloem uh, seed tubes, phloem companion cells, phloem fibers, right? phloem tubes. Like this, so phloem seed tubes, they are the smallest cells which we are being present. They started to understand uh, the role which is being played by phloem seed tubes and aphids. 
Actually, you can look after this is the proboscis of the aphid. So it start piercing into the bark and this reaches into the phloem, right? From the bark. So the proboscis is reaching into the phloem and from this phloem it is uh, taking what it is called as the plant juices, right? Now, when this aphid is being killed, right, such that, so the proboscis is still inside the aphid. And they have seen some amount of plant juice is oozing out. They started collecting the plant juice and they have studied the chemical nature of the plant juices which are oozing out from the proboscis. They have seen these juices contain some amount of sugars and some amount of amino acids. And these sugars and amino acids are the same which the phloem seed tubes or the phloem is going to contain. So therefore, they have come to an hypothesis that phloem vessels are responsible in conduction of the food material. And after that, they have cut down the plant body and they have seen the mark of the proboscis is still the phloem. So therefore, aphids, so phloem is their conclusion they have rooted from this experiment that so at least they uh, depend on the phloem for their food material and the phloem are the uh, what it is called as uh, vascular tissues which helps in conduction of food materials so like this phloem helps in transportation of manufactured food material so and whenever the uh, whatever the amount of food is being taken obtained by the these aphids, complete food material is not being assimilated. Assimilation, I hope you remember the topic of nutrition, we have studied, right? So there are different steps in case of nutrition, right? One of the steps is nothing but assimilation. The nutrients which are being absorbed for our energy requirements, that is called as assimilation. So complete how much that is being taken, that is not being assimilated and the few amount of this sugar is being excreted by these aphids. Now these sugar substances which are being excreted by these aphids, that is called as honeydew. What do we call it as? Honeydew. And this honeydew uh, is being excreted on the leaves which are being visited by the uh, aphids. So the leaves become sticky because of this honeydew. So therefore, what we can say, phloem is uh, the vascular bundle which is helping in conduction of food material. So, and here, one more activity also we can perform to demonstrate that phloem helps in conduction of food material. So, you can look after, this is complete plant and this is only the xylem part. The bark which is exterior and the phloem which is being exterior that is being removed. Completely it is being removed. So then it is being left aside. Then the food material what is being translocated from the aerial parts to the down. So it can't come down or it can't reach down. Why? Right? Because continuity of phloem is being absent. Now, due to that reason, this phloem which is being coming down, it is being accumulated here. So, that accumulated region, you can see some growth is being formed there. And it starts coming down in the form of roots also. So, I hope uh, because of this region itself, because of this reason, the reason of accumulation of growth and also by uh, uh, production of what it is called as aerial roots, because of these two reasons, right, so artificial propagation of plants can take place, right. So, uh, I hope you know that, right, uh, cutting, the next layering and grafting, these are the three different types of artificial propagation of plants. You have been studied in your class 7, right. So, one method uh, of layering is, this is the process, air layering. So, the stem is being present to the, uh, what it is called as in the air itself and then the surrounding bark and the phloem is being removed. Then, so with the help of moisture and some of the soil, so with the help of a polythene cover that is being wrapped and after a few days we can see some roots are being developed and when this portion is being cut down and we can go for propagation of plants. So like this, phloem helps in 
translocation of the food materials. So, uh, especially when food material is very scarce, so like uh, in case of during severe or hard winters, when food material is very scarce, so some certain uh, lower mammals like poles and also rabbits, they depend upon this phloem for their food materials. Right? So they go, they visit the plants, right, and they start uh, obtaining the food material from this phloem. So and they create extensive damage. So therefore, foresters, what they especially they do, they in order to keep the population of wolves and rabbits in a proper level, they start leaving foxes, gadgets, etc. So uh, into the forest to keep to check that. So therefore, the commercial crops they can be prevented or they can be protected from the damage of this wolves and rabbits. And one more, grey squirrels, these are uh, the creatures which damage the cashewania crop, the phloem which is being present, so is being eaten up. So the tooth mass can even be taken as uh, our evidence to say that uh, the tooth marks of rabbits or squirrels which is being found in this uh, phloem that can also be considered as an evidence to say that or to conclude that phloem is a vascular bundle which helps in pan, uh, what it is called as conduction of food material which is being manufactured in the leaves to the remaining portions of the plant body. So this is about today's class about transportation of manufactured food. Right? And for children, for today's home assignment, uh, you need to write briefly about how do you say that phloem helps in transportation of manufactured food. Right? I repeat the question. So write briefly about uh, how do you say that uh, phloem helps in uh, transportation of manufactured food material. This is for your home assignment. Don't neglect that. Don't keep uh, your work pending. And uh, children, by today we are we have been finished the third unit also. So uh, revise the first unit, second unit, and also third unit. If any queries, you can interact with us in in case of your uh, synchronized session. I give you two minutes to copy the things in your notebook. Thank you and have a nice day.